Hi Sagittarius and welcome to your monthly tarot reading for October. Thank you so much for joining me today and this is a general reading that could help any sun, moon, or rising Sagittarius. Oops, get these up here. Okay, so we have Justice, the Major Arcana, we have the Page of Swords, and we have the Two of Pentacles. So Justice, we see this woman here holding the very um, uh, beautiful sword and the scales. So Lady Justice is here to make decisions that are based on the facts, on what has happened, what's really there, the evidence. These decisions are made, um, again, with respect to the truth of a matter. With justice, we're looking for what is fair, and we're looking for uh, a situation that requires, perhaps, to do the right thing and to have integrity. And so when we see justice, there may be something at your work or at your home, maybe that's not quite right, and maybe there's an imbalance of, of equity that you have to address, that you may have to speak with a partner or a friend about the situation. So in sometimes in, in life, you know, with certain friends, it only seems that someone is making the call to, to get together and um, the other person just kind of hold, waits back and after years that may be tiresome and it doesn't seem to be so fair of, of the give and take of a friendship. So, you know, justice can be literal where you're dealing with a matter in the courts, where you're dealing with looking at the fine print, or you're dealing with the after effect of a decision or a uh, judgment. But it really goes to doing the right thing within your life and considering and uh, improving perhaps the imbalances of, of fairness. You're looking at issues of fairness perhaps on Sunday. What is fair? What is not fair? What's happening? What can be changed in order to improve that. And so what's interesting is this page of swords. The page of swords here stands ready, looking over his shoulder. I was watching uh, something and they were saying the page of swords is, is the spy card. He's the spy. So I suppose in certain circumstances, yes, he could be the spy, but really he's on the ready. It looks like he's waiting for what may happen. And as we know with swords, swords can bring challenges or adversity. So he's sword ready. He's got his eyes, uh, cloudy weather behind him. He's going to be youthful in his energy, but he's ready to take on the challenges, ready to strategize, ready to begin to use his intelligence to learn how to deal with matters to use your reason. So this page of swords of truthfulness, of doing the right thing and using your smarts and, and learning how to strategize can help with issues of fairness and dealing with fairness. Because while he may be young, he is still pretty smart. And it's the energy of being ready to deal with things. And he is ready to handle whatever comes, uh, comes his way. So with this idea of fairness leading this reading, here's the Two of Pentacles. And we see this fun-looking juggler riding the unicycle down looks like the boardwalk with his pentacles in, in hand. 
and the two of pentacles goes to the decisions that we must make in order to stay in balance, in order to keep everything afloat. Bills, responsibilities, meetings, travel, family, children, the list goes on. It can be overwhelming. It can feel like we never have a chance to catch our breath or to stay in balance and that something's got to give. And so those decisions, they're up to you of what has to give. What do you maybe have to tone down a bit in order to find a better balance? And so perhaps this issue, the idea and the of, of justice and fairness is affecting the balance that you have in your life. And it may be hard to figure it out. And so the Page of Swords is giving you some, is, is to reason, find some, uh, analyze this situation, think about it, come up with a strategy because it is an important to maintain balance. It's important to not allow yourself to topple off that unicycle. Often with the two of pentacles, it can be uh, career or, or resources um, that are out of whack, money. And you may be thinking of other ways to make money to help, help out with it, with that regard. So, you know, I, I see this sense here of, um, I think the justice card is only such a powerful card to come in because it's like, pay attention, pay attention to how the dynamic is around you. And, uh, we often see in a work environment, we see the issue of fairness and equity play out every day. The people who are phoning it in and the employees that are doing more than their share. So that was just an aside. <laughs> I just thought I would throw that in there. Anyway, this is what I have for you for the day. Let's take a look at the numbers. Okay. We have 11, 12, 14. 14 reduces to five. Five is about flexibility being having to adapt it can be about um, challenges and new cycles we're finding freedom and now let's choose an oracle card for the day oops I'll get that up be fearless so I like be fearless because it's really, uh, I, I would equate it with speaking your truth to be fearless. Don't be held back by your own limitations. Don't be held back by others, you know, um, stand up for what you believe in and what you want to do. So I hope you have a great day. If you enjoyed this reading, please subscribe. Like this video, share this video, comment below, and join me tomorrow for another reading. Take care. Bye-bye.